Today we're in for a bit of a treat here on Te Aoroa, which is frankly about two weeks overdue. However, finding it could prove to be a little bit more difficult than planned. As you can see here, we have an albino disturb edge from a feral goat, one of the rarest animals on Te Aoroa. And I actually saw this about two weeks ago while grinding for a fallow deer. And I just kind of thought eventually we'd come back to it and completely forgot. It turns out that even though it's their drink time, I guess they don't drink here? Or maybe they don't drink on Tauroa. That must have been her right there. If we'd have just slowed down. But you could you could very clearly see they're a very stark white color. They don't drink on Tauroa. I'm not sure how I missed this, but that actually might make it even more insane that we ever saw it to begin with, because all I was doing was checking literally everywhere for fallow deer, passed by this lake, and I kind of assumed that feral goat was drinking there. She was walking to a rest zone. That's going to be her right there, 50 meters away. And in trying to decide on a weapon to take this goat with, I thought the Caplock muzzleloader would be a really cool choice. So I wanted to actually stand still, because we saw she actually like hopped up on that rock face there. But pretty cool to drop it in his tracks, that's what I was hoping to select. A weapon that would be ethical, and would be likely to drop it. Now I think we might have shot at the heart, so needing something that might be able to drop a goat from broadside didn't really matter here, but they look so much better now than they used to. And this is only with the Emerald Coast update. This made them look this way? Albino Feral Goat, our first one ever, heart shot through the bottom of the heart to be fair, with the Caplock Muzzleloader at 57 meters. They are really nice looking before. There wasn't a whole lot of difference between them and the white variant, because at that time, the white variant was a lot kind of brighter. It's kind of been made more similar to the blonde now. So that then begs the question, what do we do for the rest of a hunt in which we've killed the thing that we set out for within a couple of minutes? And I think the answer to that is, go to a map in which feral goats do drink, that being Emerald Coast, and hunt around down in that area, and see if we can find any trophy goats or kangaroos. So we've come to multiplayer, and we're sitting out here in the outback, armed once again with the Caplock muzzleloader. I thought it might be fun to kind of limit our range today. When we've tried to stock up to kangaroos, one thing we found out is that they are pretty tough to get really close to, but I think 100 meters is going to be more than doable. So. Starting out with a not so big one, but we do have the slightly larger rounds loaded now. And it looks like, <laughs> though that was a pretty weird animation, they are going to be more than enough to take kangaroos at that range. I am going to be curious as to where we actually hit this guy. At 114 meters, it was vertebrae and left lung. So double lung for sure will be an insta drop with this gun. In the meantime, by the way, it's also a feral goat drink time on this server, and I thought it might be good to look at the white variation now and compare that to the albino, because as I said, in the past, they were just about indistinguishable. So we're going to go with the 22250 on that. I believe at least that's the white fur type. It's so hard to tell on Emerald Coast. The way the lighting is, and if a goat standing in the shadows, it can go from looking like it's the black variant, for sure, no doubt, to actually it's the brown variant, and it really doesn't even resemble the black fur when you get a little bit closer. But it looks like that is indeed the white variation. So now, albino and white feral goats are very distinguishable, and I think that's a good thing. I can't imagine, you know, how many albino feral goats have, had been passed over for, you know, years since Te Aoroa came out until that change happened. So good to kind of see how different they are now, and hopefully we can run into more in the future. I'd love to at some stage get a male albino. You know, I never thought we'd be looking for a hollow shame feral goat, but that might actually be one. If we can get a shot at him just kind of trotting there with the 22-250, we might try to take that all the way back to the hollow shame. I've never seen one, basically with like spikes for horns. I'm not certain if we got a vital. He's going down. Not as fast as I'd like, so gonna try just to get what I think is a bronze medal out of it just in case? That might be literally our smallest feral goat ever. 
if this were a female feral goat, that would be pretty much standard, but for a male? 82 score, that is a bronze. I'm gonna guess at 44 kilo flat, probably minimum weight, and we actually caught him through the lungs at 201 meters with the 22215, not bad. Still bigger than our albino, I think it was 60 something. But still, Hall of Shamer for sure. And we're getting way more mileage out of hunting for feral ghosts today than I ever thought we were going to. So somewhat coming back around to the main task today, trying to get kangaroos with the muzzleloader. And there are in this group, two different mythicals. The one laying on its back is a little bit bigger and there's just no shot angle. But I think as we alert them, he should end up standing up. So let's get this zeroed for 100. He's attentive. Just gotta get a little bit closer, but not push them out of here. Cause very quickly, I think he will just scoot away. So. We'll try to either get him to stand up alert, or maybe just take the shot as is. That was kind of what we were looking for. I'm honestly not sure the other mythical went aggressive. Did we even get the first? I guess so. You know, weirdly enough, we can zero out to 200 meters now. Before we weren't able to, I'm not sure if something changed there, because we crashed earlier. That is going to be something to pay attention to, but I think we just killed two mythicals out of the same group. A 422 with a hard shot there at 14 meters. And even though we completely missed the vitals, our other one went basically nowhere. He was a 423, so more or less the same size. We actually shot him in the vertebrae, aimed a little bit too high. But that's interesting. I'm really curious about the muzzleloader zeroing. And right back we go to Feral Goats, a level 5, up to 214. And the thing I really like about that is how, like, flat those horns are. That gives them a really good spread credit. I want to say he's the blonde variation. I can see that actually being the white variant in the shadows, though. But because they're just kind of walking along, even though they're in a drink zone, I think we might let our heart rate come down and try to get them in this gap right over here. So... We'll sidestep that tree, got our heart calmed down, and we're looking at probably 170 meters. That should drop right into a lung. I don't know, I mean, Diamond is like 208 or 209 for them, and he's only up to that 214 mark, but like I said, the really flat horns, the spread credit's gonna be pretty high, and that's, as far as I know, the main determining factor in whether or not the Feral Goats make Diamond or not. Now, of course, horn length is relevant as well, but I thought, and it looks especially as we get closer, like the horn length on this guy is solid. I think he has a real chance at it. 208.04, he's 49 plus kilo. <laughs> we still missed it by about 0.7. He was a good one, just not quite enough. So let's look at the true score. So horn length is 67 and then spread is 54. Those two parts, are making up more than half the score. The rest is circumferences as you go out the horn. We were so close on that. For that weight, honestly, I think he has a pretty low score. But go figure, kind of bookending our hunt here. A couple of decent feral goats, one that just quite didn't make diamond, and one, fortunately, that the metal was not quite as important. So I thought, why not put our new albino feral goat Next to the black variant that we got on Emerald Coast, I think like our first or second multiplayer hunt ever on Emerald Coast. And I just think it's so cool that we ended up even running into that. Especially because the entire point was just grinding for fallow. It was getting to that point of desperation, probably 5,000 plus kills. Just decided to check literally everywhere on the map. And we ended up finding an albino feral goat instead. So good to finally get back and go and get that. And I want to go and place our hollow shamer as well just to be a bronze as a feral goat because silver and gold requirements are not that high for them. The diamond requirement is obviously as we saw today with our troll, but to not even crack silver, that is something you don't see every day with the feral goat, 44 kilo flat. I expect that to be the minimum weight. And by the way, I didn't plan it at all, but our hollow shame fallow deer actually from the hunt where we practice with the bow 
ends up being just across the hall from that guy. So quite a feral goat and fallow deer connection in today's video, but that was a really enjoyable hunt. And it all stemmed from stumbling into an albino by complete accident while out there looking for a great one fallow deer. But anyway, that is going to do it for this video. So as always, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.